ready, and we'll just take a few steps back. So um, we're working on the Mass Bobquat project uh, here in Texas, and it's only part of what we're doing. So the mass bob white is native to southern Arizona and old Mexico, and that's their native range. What's happened is through the years with this bird, they found that we can take Texas bob white or northern bob whites out of the wild and um, bring them over to Arizona. And then we have hatched chicks of mass bob whites and we allow the male bob whites from Texas to foster the young mass bob whites. So we take northern bob white that have been sterilized and we pair those up with chicks that are only a few days old. We first place the male in the adoption chamber and then we bring in those 15 chicks and once he starts to brood those chicks, we know that he has adopted them. And at that point, we leave them in the adoption chamber for no more than 48 hours. And then we move them out to a following pen where they're allowed to stay for no more than 14 days. During that time, the bond is increasing between the parent and the chicks. And then we take that family unit out to the most suitable sites on the Buenos Aires National Wildlife Refuge and release them as a family unit. If you don't have something while teaching them to live, they tend to die. You know, they, they don't know hawks are bad, they don't know steaks are bad, and they'll just, they'll get eight. And um, our quail are wild enough that they'll teach them how to do it. These partnerships combined with the hard work, the dedication, and the passion of the staff has led to our apex success, which is that for the first time in 30 years, we have mass bob white on the landscape that have overwintered, and they're preparing to breed in the coming months. The survival rate of these birds is in line with that of wild northern bobwhite populations. And this success is following the first year of our releases, so we really look forward to seeing what's coming in the future years.